and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Niceness and Gender Lady podcast. This is Niceness speaking, and this is Gently Teen. You're welcome. Today, we are going to talk about comparison. Is it reason? Or is it <laughs> comparison? That is comparing something and something against something. Against something. Or comparing comparing something and something together. Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> just comparison. Yes, and something like that happened today. So it, it made us to think deeply about it. How it has been like a constant thing these days. How it, it easily happens. Um, like constantly these days this comparison actually once you start it it's like it does not allow you to see the other good things that are around yeah. and comparison doesn't let you see what is in front of you just like you said mm-hmm. and also it doesn't see it doesn't let you like see how much progress you've made mm-hmm. okay maybe let me just put this in this kind of illustration let's say you're digging a well and you're digging, you're digging, you're digging, you're not seeing any water. Mm. But you've seen your other, like someone beside you that is also digging a well. And you know, the person has been getting little, little water. Then you're already comparing, like, ah, me that I've been digging a well since all these days. I've not seen water. Mm. But little will you know that maybe just one more dig. Yeah, we'll get to, we'll get that. to the yes. water. And maybe the person, the thing the other person is digging might just be. It might not just even be water, it might just be mud or something that mm. person is again. You it just looks like it. Yeah, and you already like you already compared yourself to the other person mm. and you're already feeling bad. Then maybe you, I don't know, comparison comparison is just something that is very, very is to me is like a a spirit, is a bad spirit that will not make you to see what is in front of you or how much progress you've made. Yeah. But want you to, but want to make you covet. Yeah, what other what other people are doing? Yes, yes. What even brought this up in the first place? Like, there are this group of people that are trying to do something, and then a particular person is like, oh, but these other people are also doing this thing, and they are doing it differently. So now. I think this sort of happened today. So this particular set of people are already trying their best to like do what they can when it's not even their own like their own aspects, their own division, their special specialization. You know, they are trying their best to do as much as they can. But then this person is like, Oh, well, um compared to these other people, they are also doing this, they are doing that. So when something like that was happening today i sort of felt bad for i felt bad for those people because like this part no it's not even their their jobs it's not their works and they're trying their best to even get to this point to even help you at this to this point but you're still like sort of comparing so that just brought it to my mind was that is now like a norm these days because some other people are doing very good at this particular thing you feel like so every other person to shoot so and it's not like it's not good to like push other people to do better but then it would be much appreciated if you like encouraged them or said it better in a way more like in a way to like just embrace their faults you get just embrace their faults make them feel good about some particular aspects they are doing better not just condemn every single thing they are doing because what actually really happened today was it personally it pissed me off because i felt like ah, it's already doing what they can they are and funny thing is when we even eventually checked these works that this person was trying to compare them with personally i would have even picked another one i would have picked an entirely different set but this person was comparing not even seeing the parts where these people were doing much better you get so it's like it's now like a common thing that people do these days and not and it's affecting people a lot and comparison i think 
with the way you said it's com- comparison might not necessarily be a bad thing if you are using it to improve yourself yeah okay. mm-hmm. but com- comparison but comparison breeds very unpleasant feelings like jealousy envy yeah. mm-hmm. conversion co- covetousness 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 it breeds all those very tiny feelings and if it's not something you watch you become a like a monster you become like a slave to all these emotions into, yeah. all these emotions that you won't even be able to get yourself out of it then you start portraying very this very unpleasant behavior towards other people simply because you felt like this person was doing better than you or something or you it might even like bring out a very unrealistic version of yourself that doesn't actually yeah. exist yeah. you start behaving like someone you are not you start acting like what you actually are not and i think comparison really is just maybe your self-esteem speaking you know, mm, yeah yeah that. especially when it's coming from another party yes. Yes. maybe you're the kind of person that you've always felt like you're always not enough or like you're not doing enough or you're not fine enough or you're not rich enough or something like that and you start comparing yourself to maybe people in your age group that uh, you feel that you think are doing better than you because better, they might they not, they exactly they might not be doing it. better than you mm-hmm. but it's what you've already thought the ideas you have in your head that is making you to feel like you are not doing enough but i think if you actually sit yourself down and look at how far you've come and the kind of progress you've made you actually know that in your own little way you say if you don't try you don't try you don't do your job yes ah because and one thing again is that apart from someone mentioning it's, it's fine to see 14 things not like fine fine but it's still okay it's quite all right to like find faults in some things but my my own part is just like put it well like show that in in this way of trying to correct this person i'm coming from a place of love you get and also if you are the one that is being compared just accept accept it the way it is accept it don't feel bad accept the correction don't feel bad about it and all that and gentility mentioned self-esteem the that time and all that that is where it is good to it's good to be open to corrections if you if you're not open to corrections you won't grow you get you won't grow those group of people that were told about those things fine the person that was pointing it out did not put it in the best way there was it was like the person there was a lack of understanding in that aspect like the person was devoid of some particular knowledge in the way of talking about it and all that so there could be there could have been a better way but then with the way the person has mentioned it, yours is just to be better. Accept the correction the way it is. Because anyone that does not really listen to correction will never learn, will, will never, never grow. grow. Mm. Will never grow. So just accept it and all And it, it, it has it's been a lot. Like there, there has been a lot of comparison these days, especially with this age group. Yeah, and in this get, new age mm, and generation. And media too has been doing a lot, you know, it gets so that's, that's just so in this in this particular time and age it's also better to just know where you are going you know your plans set your plans you know that okay i got into this particular aspect where am i going to and don't forget to count your blessings to that place you are already maybe someone else has not even has not even pinched out of where you've gotten to you know we're all learning we're all trying to get there it's very easy to be distracted actually yeah. with many many things you see on social media these days you know when you see people that like you are older than that doing better or that like living the kind of lifestyle that you desire it's very easy to get carried away and to start wanting what they have but once you know what you want out of your life and what you and once you know what like the place that you actually want to be 
you won't like i think you should you will just set your mind on upon, upon your goal and you focus upon it like mm. just leave the distractions those things they are meant to, even people that are posting it they want to prepare you that's yeah, their and goal and they, they might not have even gotten to that point yeah but their yeah. goal for posting it is to prepare you so once you fall into that trap you've already they've already achieved what they want mm. people post on social media these days to actually make people Convert them, mm, convert, convert their life, convert their lifestyle. Yes, to make people jealous or to make people envy them. Mm. People post things on social media these days for that. So just set aside these distractions. Set aside these people that have been sent by not <laughs> someone that devil. is not God by the devil. They want to they are coming to distract mm. you. Don't lose focus. Always stay guiding. For cause. Always, <laughs> Always stay guiding. Always stay guiding. God bless you. God bless you. And for example, now the this particular set of people that were told that were like they received quite a lot of backlash. You get they received a lot. And they were not discouraged because the reason they started it in the particular in, in, in the first place was not because of this person. It wasn't. So this person just brought like fine. There were a few ideas that the person brought up, but they were really, they weren't really realistic. Not like realistic, but they were not gelling. They were not keen with what was even on ground. You get, but they were even with that, with with the way the person approached the issue and all that, they were not discouraged because the reason they started this in the first place was not even because of this person. They are all you are doing everything for God, so it still doesn't matter and all that. And I missed every other thing. If other people were even commending them on the job well done. So that's just it. There are some aspects that you feel like you're not even doing well. What is it? There are some aspects. <laughs> <laughs> there are some aspects that it feels like you're not even doing well, but you are actually doing really, really fine. The point of everything is just learn how to count your blessings. The point you've gotten to, some people haven't even. In fact, they may even take it, not to talk of reaching that they aspect. Yes, yeah, they're not dreamt of it. So, all in all, don't allow anybody to make you lose God. Like Gentility has said, stay guiding. Always stay guiding. Mm. I hope with this few points of ours, you've been able to convince and not to confuse you that way. Yeah. Even though they want to compare you with others, or maybe you are the one that is comparing yourself, stop it. Stop. Shebe. It won't let you see what's in front of you. It won't let you see how far you have come. Yeah. It won't let you progress. Could you progress yes. in Miami? But you will so, progress in Jesus. Amen. Amen. So that's all we have for you today. We hope you have a nice week. Stay guided. Peace, Peace out. out. Hey guys. Thanks for listening and we hope you enjoyed this episode. For questions or comments, you can reach us via the email on our bio. Don't, Don't forget, forget to share and follow. You can also click on the notification button to get notified each time we post new episodes. We hope you have a great week. Peace, Peace out. out.